So, Metal Gear Solid, all bosses uh, on console, uh, running this on official hardware uh, on the PS TV. Uh, is a modded PS TV, so it is technically on Adrenaline, the PSP emulator, or the bit that unlocks the official PSP emulator of the PSC. It's complicated, um, but it, it all makes sense. All right, we can, uh, we can get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, just finished a run, so we're still on disc two. Uh, so I've got to swap it over to disc one. Always forget, always forget about that. And we can start there. The a live split, live split is only here for um, live split is only here for reference. Anyway, we go by the games IGT. So there's no, there's no issue with having to change, change disc, like disc one with disc two. That'd be difficult. Um, you can still play. Uh, this does come with the third disc for um, for special missions. You can still play it. Um, uh, when you go to reset, when you reset the game, it asks you which uh, disc you'd like to reset with. I can hydrate now. Uh, let me find a, an appropriate time to do it, though. Yeah, I got the ration. So we're going to uh, give this guard the runarounds. That's two alerts. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, he just, oh, he's just spotting me as I went around those corners. That was a bit awkward. Three alerts. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Bloody girl! Giving. Wow! Wow! Bum bum. Bum bum bada bum bum. Bum! Bum bada bada dum. Boom. All right, that's uh, that's gonna be our last alert. We need to uh, we need to head off now. Head all the way over to the elevator. Grab another ration. Wait for the guard to come down. Now might might be a time for me to hydrate. What I could probably you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna pour. I'm gonna pour the carton into my glass. And drink with my straw. That'll be easier. <laughs> Six million alerts. Ah, ah, ah. There we go. That will be better. Only. Let's not listen to the codec. Let's try and skip through the codec as quickly as possible. Thanks, Turbo. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. In the stomach. And we're off! Didn't get shot. Yeah, didn't get shot at all. Great start. Wunderbar! This is McDonald Miller. The most important part of an MGS speedrun is listening to all codecs and watching all cutscenes. Anyway, I can now, now that I've set myself up properly, I can now properly hydrate. Cheers. Oh, I 
Oh, that is thick. <laughs> Little's uh, little chocolate milk is a lot thicker than uh, than Tesco's. I'll tell you that. Mm. <laughs> I'm re I'm ready now for when um, for when Johnny goes. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, drink some chocolate milk. Mm. Strike the guard with the chaff. And down we go. Uh, we're going to climb the ladder. I'm not going to do the vent glitch. This isn't any percent. Oops. Wow, that was um that was poor. Almost off to the good stuff. So it was a sl slow burn at the start of MGS1, and then it just hits you thick and fast. Boss, 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 boss. And then you get to the power key sequence, and it's slow, 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 slow. Dummy thick. Colonel, I'm trying to be silent, but the sound of my ass cheeks keep alerting the guard. Get ready for the fight of your life, Snake. Not really, because um, we've already, Snake has already been through the events of Metal Gear Solid, of Metal Gear and Metal Gear Two Solid Snake. Uh, some good chewing. That was also some good chewing. That was some good shooting by Meryl at the end there to make up for me messing up. And that was some good shooting. Right, not bad. We're off, off to a good start. Head down to B two for our next fight. I'm ready for Osa? This is what I meant. You get, you are thrown into these boss fights thick and fast. It is just boss after boss after boss. Grab some grenades. We can uh, beat beat our boss friend Ocelot with these grenades. Still not sure how I'm getting away with that. It proper looks like I'm running into those, um, running into those um, bits of uh, bits of wiring. But if it works, it works. Don't lie to me. Now he's dead too. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Let's talk to uh, the next weapons we're going to need.
Got to be careful when, uh, careful when throwing the scarts. Don't get spot. Don't want to get spotted by that guard. Oh, I've got a bit of a time save with the tank. I had a, I had a bit of a problem with the tank fight last time. So uh, here's hoping that goes better. Out of bounds. Lovely. Good. I threw that grenade. A I, I started cooking that grenade a little too late. Perfect. And grabs both sets of ammo. Beautiful. Absolutely spot on tank fight. Very pleased. Chaff grenades out. And this time I shouldn't I shouldn't need to grab um I shouldn't need to grab the uh the extra grenades now. I think I will anyway. Yeah, I'm going to anyway cuz uh that'd be handy to have. Say goodbye to that guard again. That guard, that guard takes so much abuse. Sorry, that guard. Bit, bit mean, isn't it? Not very nice. Guard. Another, another broken back. And down towards the ninja fight. Still a fair bit of time save on uh, on the ninja fight. Put the Nikita. You're that ninja. You know, cool. Just call me Deep Throat, we should probably turn that into a blurp. Open up. God snake, so destructive. Why can't you use your powers to create instead of destroy? Just for once. Oh, look, there's blood everywhere. Look at this place. Where are the cleaners? The cleaners are not. The cleaners are not doing a very good job. Right, it's time for a fight. Time for a fight with the ninja. It's ninja time, everybody. Ninja. Now, make me feel it. Make, make me feel alive again. Right, I'm gonna attempt again this um, ninja opening glitch. Nope, fail. Wow, failed spectacularly. Absolutely terrible.
Oh, that was a bit, a bit bad. No, no, he's going to run away because I've got a weapon equipped. Come back. That's, that's not good. That's going to slow me down. Oh, okay. At least he's, at least I'm already like here. So that's, for one time, that is um, not bad RNG. Excellent. That's it. I remember that punch. Excellent. That was a really nice finish, actually. It's a little me a little messy, but uh, some really nice bits in there to uh, to make a make a big improvement on that. So re really nice finish. We can just tighten up a couple more of these boss fights. We really should uh, really should be on the next minute milestone. Longer, longest set of codex and cutscenes in the game. You get through them super fast on PC. There is still, there is still something very, you know, very, very nice about playing, playing this on on actual hardware. All right, it's not on a PS One; it's on a PS TV, but you know, it's still. It, it is it just feels it just feels nicer both sets of stun grenades you, you um if you were if you were running if you, you know trying to go for world record pace you'd probably um avoid that second pack of grenades but i like i like it too it's just a bit of a safety net Right up into the Meryl section. I'll spot as well so we grab the cardboard box. Follow her into the bathroom. Don't move. Don't move. Meryl. Same. <laughs> Welcome, the PS1 addict. It's, you know, nice that someone who calls themselves the, the PS1 addict can then also say that Metal Gear Solid is their favourite PS1 game. As a PS1 addict, I expect you played a lot of PS1 games, so I I appreciate that you choose Metal Gear Solid One as your favourite. I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? I don't know what she means. I never understood what she means by that. Make sure you're ready for what? There's nothing here. 302 PS1 games. That's impressive. I don't even know. Well, I was about to say, I don't even think I have 302 games altogether. Or you don't physically. Steam I, Steam, I definitely have more than 302 games. But actual physical copies of games? I probably, I, I'm probably around 100, I would think. So 302 is damn impressive. Swap to the Sun Grenade. I was going to do a little thing. Ah. 
I may have a hundred thousand, but I've only played six of them. <laughs> oh, wow. Controller two. One. Two, three, four. I need to get need to get better at this fight. Five, six. Oh my God! Please, seven. Thank you very much for the follow. I'm do I'm so thank you very much for the follow PS1 addicts. I'm so I really need to get better at this fight again. Of the the Merrill flop. Skip that phase of the fight. But I know your weak point. It is. It's the Twin Snakes version is so much easier. There's a new there's a new way of doing this fight where you use a you use a claymore. One thing I do need to do actually is I need to uh, quickly use a ration. Throw a grenade at um. Stood far enough back. Still rough. No one to console emu. How does it feel from PC? I mean, PC for MGS One, PC and console are so different to begin with. Like the way the speed runs work are very, very different. Uh, quickly uh, go back to controller port one. The way that um, <laughs> the mantis flop is so much. At least I can get something right. Um, it feel the main thing that feels different is that uh, even when the analog patch was introduced to the PC, I didn't use it. I still only ever used D-pad, and I never installed the analog patch. On console, I feel much better about using anal uh, analog because it it's actually there straight out of the box, um, and it's it's weird, but I'm getting used to it. You'll know you'll notice I swap between the two quite often. Me too. I just needed to listen to my footsteps there. Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. Thought I was a bit a bit soon over. There we go. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna wait we're gonna wait for this uh this cutscene now anyway. Uh, well it's not a cutscene, it's in game. Since we can't use the mind detector either. Leave it to me. Oh, um, so yeah, it, it is all, all bosses isn't that much different uh, between PC and um, between PC and uh, console. It's it's any percent that is very different between the two. Um, but, you know, on PC, you can immediately skip cutscenes and co and codex. That's the thing. PC, PC, you just hit escape or start and you instantly skip a codex. It just it just ends. Whereas obviously with <laughs> she does know this place better than me. Whereas with um with console you have to you have to mash through or use turbo. We are allowed to use turbo. And I remember playing um I remember when I was playing the PC version and first speedrunning the PC version, I thought, oh, I'm gonna hate swapping over. The thing is, since playing the since playing the PC version, and now you know, between playing the PC version and coming to this. I've played Metal Gear Solids two. I've I've learned two, three, um, two, two and three of the main ones that that use Turbo for skipping through codecs and stuff. 
Um, so it doesn't, it's not alien to me now. I always thought, I, you know, I'd always thought I'd hate console because it was going to be so alien, uh, but it isn't. It, it feels not, you know, I'm, I'm used to using, I'm used to using these things. So it's not, it's not too much of a problem for me. Punch that wolf because it's on. I'm going to punch that wolf as well. Um, one, thi one thing I will say is um, console feels much more relaxed. Night Silent, um, thank you very much for joining in today. It's been uh, lovely having you here as always. Yeah, console feels much more relaxed. PC, there's so much more going on. Um, Claudio, welcome, dude. Um, I'm doing pretty well. Um, this run's going well so far. Um, I've already hit, uh, fifth place on the leaderboard for this, uh, for this category. So I'm just hoping to, to make some improvements where I can. Uh, yeah. Um, console is so much more relaxed because there's less going on. Okay. You, you have to skip through cutscenes. Okay. You have to use the weapon menu on PC. You don't use the weapon menu at all because there are, um, uh, there are weapon hotkeys. So you just swap between them using your, using your keyboard. But that's the thing. I'm not having to swap to my keyboard to do things. Um, you know, I'm not happy. I'm not having to use GME. I'm not having to use Swim. You know, my controller's just set up to one control for PC. The various different versions of the PC speedrun. I have different controller layouts for all of them. I have a very easy layout. I have an any percent layout, and I have an all bosses layout. I have three different layouts for running MGS1 on PC for my controller. Whereas on console, it's just one. It's just one and I'll use that for every single run. So it's it's much it's must much less to worry about, much less to think about. It's a much more pure experience. You know, that this really is the definitive way to, to speed and it's not and it is nice to be on actual concert. I'm gonna concentrate on this room. It's one of the most difficult rooms in the in the run. Beautiful. As like not not having to swap between controller and and keyboard is nice. Also, you haven't got the constant you haven't got the constant fear that you're going to crash. Um, so some versions of the PC, the PC version are notorious for crashing. Uh, next, uh, next cool trick, the English ply. Doing that here. Let me concentrate on this trick because it's quite a very timings based trick. There we go. No, he spotted me as I threw him. I'm just dead. I knew, I knew being clever with that guard and throw, trying to throw him over the edge was going to kick me in the ass at some point. That's unfortunate. With some boss fights, I can I can pull that back, but um, that's unfortunate. Oh, and I uh, wow.
As or not, I this is one trick that I'd really gotten back into properly and uh, and haven't had any problems with. And now all of a sudden, just a couple of really awful attempts at it. I'm still going to go for it because I should be able to do it. Oh. That was interesting. All right. We've got a lot of catching up to do. And you can see by the time, a lot of catching up to do. That was not good at all. Might not be able to pull this back just from bosses. I'll listen to my footsteps. All right, my wolf. behind the uh great song <laughs> that wasn't that bad a boss fight actually we pull back a pull back a little bit of time a long way to go to uh to pull back the rest don't move don't kill him yet oh it's in the left so into the torture section another another bit of hanging around we are of course going to skip the torture we are not gonna we are not gonna do it I'm gonna kill Meryl. Like a bad boy. You you win. Sorry, Meryl. You did you did. Enough. So you're human after all. The torture will stop as I promised. Well this has got nothing else to I'm gonna I'm gonna look at my phone for a minute. I I don't know why I don't know what everyone else is gonna do. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just go check out my phone. What's going on? Oh, I'm live. I got an email to say that I'm live. Um uh, For the King 2 is coming out. What was for the King? I don't remember for the King. But he's still doing a random t-shirt sale. It's nice. How, how's everyone? How's everyone else doing anyway? You, you having a good? You having a good time? That chaff skip was rough. Yeah, that was a. I still got to do it again. If we do that, we do that. Um, that room in that way twice. Um. Um. Yeah, I've. Uh, I've got to do that trick. Trick one more time on the way back. Um. I'm. I'm usually very good at it. Um. Thank you, Beardson. First one in. Come on. Thank you, Rusi. Welcome. So many names today. Um, quite a few first quite a few first time chatters as well. Lots of new people, lots of returning people. It's been great seeing so many um so many names today. Welcome everyone. I hope I hope you're having a fun evening. I'm having a fun evening. It's always uh, always good to see see lots of pe lots of different people. 
Now go follow Pixel Perfect. <laughs> Uh, on on that note, though, uh, just a, a reminder, I am going to be running uh, MGS1 very easy any percent this Sunday uh, as part of Pixel Perfect's Path to Affiliate miniseries. Um, so over at Pixel, per, Pixel Perfect Events is a, uh, is a marathon events team that I helped. Um, I, I am one of the founders. Uh, I'm one of the three the three staff members on it. Uh, we held our most recent event, Pixel Perfect Marathon 3, uh, this past weekend. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, we had an, uh, an amazing opening run by a runner called Twilight Realm. Um, he ran Metal Gear Solid 1 all bosses. In fact, he ran what I'm doing right now. Um, the run that I'm doing right now is what opened, opened our event. He did it on emulator, whereas I'm playing on PS TV. Um... Uh, so it was, um, but but it was a very very good run. Um, but um, it's a Pixel Perfect Marathon Three was, as you can imagine by the name, was our third marathon, um, and we've hit all of the requirements that we need for affiliates. Um, do you have to keep those stats every month to keep it? No, once you um, affiliate, once you've got affiliate, you don't lose it. Um, partner is different. I think partner you can have taken away from you if you don't keep it up. Um, uh, but no, once you once you are affiliate, that's it. You are affiliate for unless you get banned, you know, unless you do something to get your account banned or something like that. No, once you once you hit affiliate, you stay. Um, so for for affiliate on Twitch, you need to have at least fifty followers. Um, hang on, just give me a sec. Uh, you need to have at least fifty followers, which we've got. Oh, uh, we're closing on on three hundred at the moment in Pixel Perfect. Um, you need to have um, an average over and then over 30 days over the previous 30 days you then need to also have um, at least uh, an average view account of at least three well because our marathon has been on the front page of speedrun.com we should be on uh, we should be on an average of around 60 I would imagine uh, so we've got that down uh, stream for eight hours within 30 days. Well, we streamed for 24 hours over the weekend, so we've hit that. Um, and then finally, and this is the important one, stream on seven different days within those 30 days. And that's the thing that we haven't done. Um, we've had three marathons so far, and each of those have been two days over a weekend, and they have not been within 30 days of each other. Um, they've been uh, several months apart. So... Because we're at such a good position now, um, we really want to hit affiliate so that we can give our, our lovely viewers uh, access to emotes. And there's uh, some other tools that we could really do with. Uh, one of the main ones is uh, you can't you can't upload videos to Twitch um, unless you're an affiliate. Um, which uh, we forgot to grab the um, we forgot to grab the Pixel Perfect two um, uh, vods and highlight them on Twitch um, at the time. Yeah, we forgot to uh, we forgot to highlight those on Twitch last time, um, so the 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 Twitch vods are lost. However, we record everything, we put everything on YouTube, but you can upload videos to Twitch. Um, so what we want to do is we want to upload all the Pixel Perfect two videos to Twitch, so that we still have them on Twitch as well as YouTube. It's nice to have the whole collection there as well. We can't do that until we're an affiliate. There's a bunch of other you know useful affiliate tools. Um, Twitch has a new vertical video editor, so you may have noticed no broken back this time. No, um, uh, so you may um, you may have noticed um, that this time this time round we were very well. I was very heavy uh, on getting uh, clips done and turning those clips into um, shorts. There we go, just had to needed to listen to my footsteps there. It's grenades. Got a, another codec and cutscene here. Um so yeah, I was very keen on getting clip on, on clipping stuff and um uploading them to shorts. Probably gonna be starting a, a TikTok account um for Pixel Perfect as well soon, because TikTok's you know usually good to, to upload these to as well. Um 
and Twitch now has its own vertical um, video editor. So any any clip you do, um, Twitch has its own ver own way of transforming it into a into a vertical video, which is really it's a really nice, neat way of doing it. And we we emulated that for. Um, oh, no, that's cor no, that's correct. Nice time save. I'm not sure what I did to deserve that time save, but I've got it nonetheless. All right, boba skip time. Um, but that vertical video editor is also locked behind affiliate. I really like that. I've been I've been doing them, doing them in Vegas. I manually set it up, uh, but it'd be much easier just to take the existing clips and just use Twitch's own version because then you also upload them directly to YouTube Shorts. Oh. Threw that chaff. I threw that stun grenade a little too late. All right, let's uh, focus up. Come on, first try again. First try again. My luck. My luck with the boba skip has just been fantastic. I am living the best life ever because I beat the video game. I am living the best life ever because I am out of the stairwell of shame. I am the best at video games. Always say, always sing the Boba Skip song whenever we do the Boba Skip. Um. Yeah, the, so having the the vertical video editor would make life a lot easier. I don't have to you know, uh, import everything into. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, music and lyrics by Boba Witch. Um, you know, don't have to import everything into a video editor and and rejig it that way. Um, so that you know that's nice. Um, yeah, once you know, once we've hit affiliate, we can start. You know, we can do. You know, obviously we can do subs. We can do emotes. Um, there's so much other stuff we can do. You know, we can start building some. We are we are taking some costs uh, for this. All of the um, all of the stream stream tech that we've got. Uh, we do have to rent the servers. Um, Jasper's paying for that at the moment out of his own pocket. But you know, if we can get you know if we can get um, Twitch subs, then that will obviously help with that and, and things like that. And obviously, then we can look at how we do charity stuff, um, which is the the big thing we want to do next year. We are definitely going to do our first charity stream next year so that's something that i'm something i'm going to be looking into into how we um how we implement i'm uh, i'm very very much looking forward to that as as long time viewers long time uh, fans of this channel will know um in the in the past i've done a 24 hour charity stream every year um so i'm quite big on doing charity stuff um and with you know with the baby with the baby coming we're not doing i've already done a 24 hour stream this year uh, but that was to help me get to um, to GDQ. We won't be doing a sort of the usual gen general 24-hour charity live stream this year because it's around this time of year that I do it. It's usually end of October, start of November that I usually do the um, the charity stream. But um, as you know, as I keep <laughs> as I keep mentioning, um, uh, I am due. My wife is due to have a baby in two weeks' time. <laughs> Um, so we're not, we won't be doing that this year. Um, so what I'm hoping is that, and to be honest, we might never do it again. It, it might be the end of the 24 hour charity stream. I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep that up in the future. Um, all right, I'm going to concentrate on this fight. Good start. Ah. Ah. Didn't connect. I'm out. I'm not out, Stingers. Damn it, that was all really good up until that last shot. So that one shot let me down. Up until that point, that had been fantastic. Yeah. Who knows? 
It might, it might happen, it might not. It all depends on how things go and... It, if, if it does, it, you know, it might not be for a couple of years yet or something like that. Next. I want to wait for him to... Right, now I need to keep him in the box. Okay, that is... I've got four, that'll be fine. There we go. That is going to be a massive time save. I, the hindy is not dropped down. Hopefully, we'll be good. Aw, eat shit! <laughs> um, yeah, at the moment, I don't know. Um, you know, we'll, I will work, yeah, I will definitely work something out. It may be that it becomes 12 hour, sh you know, 12 hour charity streams or something like that. Excellent. Massive time save. We are now back in the, back in the gold. Certainly back in the green. I knew there was a big time save for that, uh, for that boss. can keep going uh so uh so yeah i don't know what's going to happen but what i what i hope is that all of the people who have supported me with my charity streams over the years you know all the people who are happy you know who've, who've been very very graciously donated and supported the stream what i hope you guys will do is transfer that support to pixel perfect because the, you know, the, the charity streams are obviously very, very important, very personal to me. And so is Pixel Perfect. Pixel Perfect is kind of where I'm I'm trying to... Oh, crap. I have completely screwed this section up. Uh, Pixel Perfect is where I am transferring that, that energy, that thought process. So I do hope that people... I'm making a right meal of throwing these grenades. Can I get one of them? I do hope that people will, you know, transfer that across. Absolutely awful. I I think I, I I cooked every single one of those grenades too early. Ah, now we wait for the uh, wait for the elevator to turn up. Snake is too fat. Huh? Yeah, I think I was being a bit too all over the place. Hey, play. I mean, any any support, any support is always is always you know appreciated. Oh, so this as well. Not great. Could be better. Night, Caro. Have a good one, mate. There is... Um, I can't remember what you do for that fight. I can't actually remember what you do for that fight. Um... I don't think I don't think you can complete the game without without kills. It's uh, you're allowed a number of kills for big boss rank. Nice, I got the uh, I got the lean. Hide in a box. Yeah, 
Yeah, if you're doing if you're doing big boss rank on on extreme, you have a you. It's not that you can't get you can't kill. It's not that you can get zero kills. It's you have a a, a small amount of kills you're allowed to do. All right, I'll concentrate on uh, this wolf fight. Uh -oh. That probably won't hurt her because. Stinger. It's gone back again. There we go. Damn it, I moved slightly too far forwards into the uh Okay, I messed something up with those splits completely. Not quite sure what. That's not what I want. Swap disk. I'm not quite sure where I went wrong with those splits, but I did something wrong with those splits. Whoops. <laughs> nice. I was back on I thought I was back on track I wonder if I'm now act like accidentally um comparing against 739 I don't know I'm confused now confused where I've gone wrong with this I'm sure I remember seeing that I was back on I was back in the uh, I was back in the green after the high and D fight Not very, I'm still not very good at that fight either. No personal best, real time. That is what I'm comparing against. I don't know. I'm getting confused apparently. Um, I can't remember where, I re where I'd really gotten up to with what I was talking about. We were talking about... I know we were talking about charity streams and stuff like that. And talking about, you know, transferring... Transferring things over to, to Pixel Perfect. Yeah. So for, for me, going forwards, Pixel... You know, Pixel Perfect really is my... My passion project. Yeah, we're gonna we are hopefully we will get to a point one day where Pixel Perfect is bigger than I am. Because at the moment, you know, at the moment I've been I've been streaming for I've been streaming for six, seven years. Something like that. Um Yeah, and I I've streamed twice a day uh, twice a day, twice a week for, for seven years, and you know, I've got 
you know, over a thousand followers and I've nearly hit a thousand YouTube subscribers. Obviously, Pixel Perfect's nowhere near that, but my my hope is that one day we can hit that. I am ahead. Ooh, I only have one ration. And it's fine. I am ahead. I don't know what I've done with my splits to suddenly put them so far behind. I am now 20 seconds ahead. Even even after, you know, those two horrible deaths. It has been a bit over three years since you first discovered me. And I still feel re I still feel bad that the reason you discovered me and a lot of other people. It was quite quite I have quite a few quite a few fans who've kind of become a bit disenfranchised because the reason that a, a lot of people found me was because I, I used to run I used to run a stream called the Mansions of Madness stream experience um, and uh, once I started speedrunning I lost the time for it it's it was a really fun experience I wish I could go back to it but obviously with baby coming along I now definitely don't have more time it would have it probably would have been a good idea to do it on pixel perfect i don't think so uh for those for those who don't know there's a uh, there's a board game um there's a board game series called the art the arkham series it's all based on cthulhu um uh cthulhu myth the cthulhu mythos uh, the works of hp lovecraft um and one of the one of those games is called mansions of madness and it's um it's kind of a it's kind of a tabletop rpg light like experience it's kind of sort of you know as though you were playing a tabletop rpg but very much more a board game um you know you play it you play as characters that have abilities and skills and stats um and they adjust throughout the game and and stuff like that um and the the first edition of the game um you had to have one had like a had like a book that explained what was going on and where everything went and how the game the game sort of got set out um when they came to the second edition they um they created an app hang on the the publishers i can't remember the, i can't remember the name of the publisher the publisher built an app uh, for it you can get it on steam as well um which plays which tells you where everything is basically acts as the dm um, or as the law keeper, or as however you want to describe it. Um, and it tells you, you know, when you go into a new room, it tells you, right, here's what's in the room. Here's where all the things are. Here's what monsters are attacking. And it goes through all the, you know, it goes through all of the phases of attacking monsters and stuff like that. And it's, you know, it plays the game for you. And, sorry, it doesn't play the game for you. It tells you how to set the game up. You don't need a law keeper. You don't need a DM. You use the app to do it. Um, oh yeah, if you've got a few friends, you can get it on. You can get it on um, Tabletop Simulator. If you've uh, if you've got it on table, if you've got Tabletop Simulator, there's a there's a really good mod for it on there. Um, actually, if anyone wants it on Tabletop Simulator, I've improved on that mod um, by, by building in a few more things and you know really making it my own a bit more. Um, so you know, hit me up, um, uh, Palkey. Where's the Palkey gonna be? Get your guesses in, folks. Which position is Lapalki going to be in in this run? Not been too bad today. That's six, five, four. Four again. That's two fours in a row. Rusi Ramon, congratulations. That is uh, that is indeed two fours in a row uh, this evening. Very good, very good. Um, so yeah, um, what I was saying the um, yeah the the mod the mod on um, on tabletop sims sims really good. Um, 
But what I did with it, um, and this this all started because I went to a New Year's party where a friend a friend at the time took a copy of. Um, uh, no, the rat uh, the rat is also RNG. It's just um, it's just that uh, the best three positions for the pal key being in the ditch are faster than the best version of the rat. And now that's it. Uh, the time is suggesting I'm now 1.45 ahead. That is almost certainly because I still haven't split that one correctly before. And that's the first time I've actually split it correctly. Uh, yeah, I am um, one one new I went to a New Year's party. A friend of mine at the time took took a copy of Mansions of Madness with with her. Um and we played it. And I loved it. Um and I was like, I could stream this. We could do this on we could do this on um tabletop simulator. I could stream this for people. And that's so that's what I set out to do. And I I did it. I did a I did a whole I did a whole season. I did a whole first season, and I set up a league for the second season, and then gave up shortly afterwards. Um, but basically, basically the i the idea became is that we have up to five people on Tabletop Simulator join and play through on stream, and instead of them using the app to to build the game, I use the app on my own to build the game, and I act. I act as a DM. We bring basically bring back the DM elements from um, from the you know the the first edition and the the original way the game was intended. Just I still use the app to build it, and I I built a whole persona around it. Um, there is I don't think I've got any emotes or anything left over from it. Um, there are somewhere, um, but I I created a I created a, a persona around it called the host. Um, the host was this. Um, was this devious otherworldly entity that invited players into the game um and and ran it i you know i'd wear a i'd wear a shirt and waistcoat and tie or bow tie um oh yeah well, there is a set there is a, a link to one there um you know and everything would be you know really sinister i'd use red lighting and contrast and you know i'd be you know i'd, I'd be really evil and um oh, it was great it was so much fun um, very warm. I would get so warm doing it. That was, uh, that was the down, that was the downside of it. Of, of that setup. Um, but it was, a, it was a lot of fun. Um, there's, um, there was quite a few, quite a few, um, quite a few really good games of that. Because uh, the other the, the the other idea with it is the idea that um, it's a co it's a cooperative board game. It's an RPG experience. It's a cooperative board game, um, and the the number of players you have changes sort of exactly how everything pans out. But the the main thing with it is, is it's it's the players versus the game. Players don't always win. Um, some campaigns, there's several different campaigns. Some campaigns are easier, some campaigns are harder. Um, and there's a, you know, there's a, um, there's a lot going on. Um, and that, the idea with the league um, in the second season that I, that I started to set up was, was trying to build this idea of whether, or whether, um, you know, the community, the community were able to earn points based on how well they did. I, I created a whole score system behind it. The community could earn points um, to be, you know, and, and their points would either be in positive or negative. Um, so if they were in negative, it meant that the host or me was winning. And if the points were positive, then the, the community was winning. And it was, you know, we had a, a balance on, on who was winning and who was losing. This is so much fun. It was really good. A lot of effort. Required a lot of effort. It actually required a lot of coordination. Um, it's something that, as re actually thinking back to it, was kind of my first steps into learning how to to manage marathons. You know, all the all the management that I do. You know, when it comes to runners and volunteers for Pixel Perfect, 
I'm the one who's dealing with all of that. You know, Light, Light and Jasper do their bit and they, you know, they, they pop in when they need to. But the actual organization of people, who's doing what, who's going, who needs to be where, how, you know, when you're organizing your tech, all of that stuff. That's, that's all me. I do all of the administrative and um, sort of community organization for our, for our marathons in Pixel Perfect. And yeah, now that I think back to it, those Mansions of Madness games, organizing the players for that um, was, um, was, was difficult. Um, and that's kind of, I think, where, you know, where I've, I kind of got my chops for that. Um, because I think, I think it was the, th the third game that I did. I think the third game that I ever did was the first time where every single player was a stranger. The first game I ever did, I did it with five friends. I had five people that I knew, knew the game, and it went very well. It was a really good game. Um, I enjoyed that one. Uh, I think the second game I did, I had a couple of mates and a couple of new people. And then by the third one, it was all brand new people that I'd never, I'd never worked with. So coordinating those people. And the other, pro the other thing with it is, and luckily we haven't really had this with Pixel Perfect yet. I've seen it happen in other marathons. One of the problems that you have when you're working with people, particularly it's it's not as bad with speedrunners because everyone in speedrunning communities know how speedrun marathons go. There isn't there is an etiquette, there is a way that you do speedrun marathons and, and everyone's sort of on board with that. When you're doing a stream like what I was doing with and just invite basically just inviting players who enjoy board games along, I, there's a couple of board game centered Discord servers and I would just Put out into their you know looking for groups to say here's what i'm doing if you want to get involved let me know um and we'll, we'll sign you up for for the game um and the the problem with that is is that at, whilst on the one side i was trying to put on a fun board game on the other side i was trying to put on an entertaining stream as well it you know the stream needed to be fun it needed to be interesting for people to for people to watch and sort of you know make make something out of it it was it, as i said it was the, the mansions of madness stream experience it was supposed to be an experience and when you try when you then start working with random people um it gets difficult to sort of instill the same sense of what you're trying to achieve you know, I'd have play. I'd have players who I'd say, you know, I'd say, right, the game, the game is starting at this time. Um, you'll need to, you know, log into Twitch. You'll need to be on Twitch because you'll need to be able to watch some of it, um, and all of that. And you know, they'd all be like, you know, I'd, I'd have some people. Some people were fantastic. There were other people who didn't really understand that this was a, a, an entertainment thing. That this was a, a, a big organized thing. And they just, be, you know, they turn up 20 minutes late and they wouldn't really get into it. They wouldn't say much. And they, you know, they say, oh, I just want to type it. I don't want to really speak. I want to type in chat. I was like, no, you, you need to speak. Like your name card's going to flash up when you speak and and all of that. You know, it was there was so much. And, you know, as I say, when you we haven't had that with Pixel Perfect, we haven't had any um, runners yet who have kind of not understood the assignment. You know, they're all sort of into it. You, you get varying degrees of, you know, whether runners are a bit shy. You know, some some talk more than others. Some can be quite quiet when they're running. Um, but gen, you know, generally, speedrunners know what they're doing. They know that it's a marathon. They know that it's set in front of people. Um, and they're, you know, they have there is a level of, of agreed etiquette amongst speedrunners on how that goes. But for board gaming, you, you don't have any of that. <laughs> Not really. Doing the, doing those sort of things, it's surprising how many, when you do those sort of things, it is surprising how many skills you pick up from them. Um, and how many of those skills are transferable. Um, didn't happen so much with my current job, but with my, a lot of my previous jobs, or when I was, when I was job hunting, when I was looking for work experience when I was on Job Seekers, um, for a couple of years, uh, for a year, that was horrible. Can, cannot, cannot recommend people don't go on to Job Seekers more. <laughs> um, yeah, when I, I, the immediate year after I finished uni, I went on to Job Seekers Allowance, because I didn't have a job. Um, we were staying, I, I was staying in the same town, 
while I went to uni because Heidi was doing her um, graduate degree. Um, so I, she lived, she came to live live in my student house, um, and um, yeah, I wasn't on job seekers for I I was on job seekers twice. I uh, I was on it from I was on it from July to November. I got a job for a month over Christmas, which I hated, and I quit. <laughs> um, it was it was a mutual agreement between both parties that I quit. Um, and I went back onto job seekers until we finally moved house. Um, and when I was going for interviews and stuff, you know, I talk about, I talk about some of my past jobs. I, yeah, I used to work in a Thornton store when I was at, when I was at college over the weekends, I'd work, I worked in a Thornton store, um, selling it, you know, is a, re a retail shop selling chocolate, doing ice cream and chocolate fountain. It was, it was all right. It was, it was a job. Um, and I'd done, you know, I taught, you know, I had my degree and, and, and stuff like that and any other work experience that I'd had. But more often than not, when, um, when interviewers read, read my CV, the thing that stood out to them more and the thing that I often ended up talking to, to them about, usually because they were middle-aged men with kids, um, and so it relate they related to me through their kids. Um was I was the social secretary and then um president of the Lancaster University Gaming Society. Um and through the gaming society I did a lot of community particularly when I was president, I did a lot of organization of stuff. You know, I as social secretary I organized socials, I organized I I ran quizzes, I organized bar crawls you know the usual sort of stuff you'd expect to get up to at university and then when i was president you know i was the figurehead but i was also you know the person mainly communicating um you know leading meetings deciding what we're doing and i also set up um what i, I don't know if they still do it though they did it for a few years after i left um but i set up the the fir our first ever set of 24 hour lands so we used to have land parties where people would take their consoles and pcs to one of the one of the sem we'd book a seminar room out over on a on a Saturday. People would turn up, you know, sort of ten o'clock on a Saturday, and we'd finish up at nine, ten o'clock on the Saturday, and and that'd be it. And I organised and worked out. I you know worked with the porters in who, who uh, run the who looked after the seminar rooms and and stuff like that. I organised our first our first ever twenty four hour land. So we started at mid started at midday on Sunday. And everyone would, uh, sorry, we started midday on Saturday. People bring their PCs, bring their consoles. We, you know, we put on a movie. We had what? We had one where we, um, where people were doing speed runs on a, uh, on a projector. We had rock bands, you know, loads of stuff. Um, and it went on for 24 hours overnight because, you know, we're gamers. We like to stay up all night and play video games. Um, and that was, uh, that was a really cool experience. But I had a lot of, I had a lot of, um, planning to do for that you know i had to work out health and safety i had to negotiate with the porters about security and stuff like that and you know there's a, there a lot to it and when i then started having job interviews i found myself talking about my experience in the gaming society more than my qualifications and more than my um uh, and more than my degree because they you know the um, the interviewers were more interested seven the interviewers were always more interested in the skills that I got from that concentrate on this fight you know my the the stuff that I do with the stream speed running you know certainly pixel perfect and, and and other stuff i put this stuff on my cv because it is important particularly particularly pixel perfect now pixel perfect isn't on my cv because i i haven't i haven't updated my cv since i got my latest job and pixel perfect started after my latest job um but now i'd absolutely put pixel perfect on my cv because i think that's probably more in not more important than the skills I've had in my in my last couple of jobs, but certainly up there. Oh, 
Pretty good Metal Gear Rex. Wait for it to fade. I lost a little bit of time on that one. Right, there's still... Um, there's still a big time save with Liquid here. My Liquids have been really bad. So there's a good chance I pull this down even further. It's horrible. This is this is if this is a PB, this is gonna have two deaths in it. Which isn't isn't great. <laughs> a PB with two deaths in it is not not what I was looking for. But you know, we'll see what happens. Alright. Mute my headset. I need to concentrate on the sound of my controller as I try and go for the liquid infinite punch. Would enjoy one brief moment of love before the end. If, if you, you cross this line, line you fall. you'll fall. At this height, At this height it, will it will kill even you. you. I can't hear it, so I'm having to make up the lines myself. All right, concentration time. Okay, good recovery. Hurry! Ooh. Well, that's changed things a little bit. It was a rough it was a rough start, but that was a really nice recovery. Uh, and yeah, th this is going to be a PB with two deaths. And to be honest, it's down to mainly down to liquid, but the hind D. <laughs> Those two deaths were nothing compared to how bad the hind D has been. That's... <laughs> You're a little early on that, but I, I appreciate the sentiment. Um, that or a lottery roll? Probably th this. Lottery roll is one move. Yeah, you need to you need to line it up, but lottery roll is one, one move and you're done. This is... You have to keep it going. Alright, escape time. We're not out of the woods yet. Good job, Snake. Good job, Snake. Oh, wow. I took no damage from that checkpoint. That is probably the best checkpoint two I've ever done. That was spot on. I got good RNG on the uh, on the guard on the right moving over to the left instead of over to the right. Here we go. It's not over yet. Missed one of the uh, transition shots there. I don't know. I didn't get in there. It's going to be a little... That's a little slow. Got him. Okay, that's both of those transition shots, though. So that's nice. That was a much speedier section. Alright, and then I'll uh, split, split as we exit the white screen. That was a pretty good escape. But apparently that was my best escape. And we are looking at a, a one minute time save. One minute time save with two deaths. God damn it. This would have been a two minute time save <laughs> if it not been for those two deaths. Uh, 
Uh, so it is once again time to sit through the credits. Um, if you're watching this live on Twitch right now, uh, you will be able to hear the music. Uh, but for the recording, I have now uh, muted the audio. So if you're watching the VOD back on YouTube, uh, very sorry. You will not be hearing the best is yet to come because copyright hits. Uh, but don't worry, I'll do my best to... I mean, I'll sing it. How about that? I'll sing it. Um, might not be in time or in tune because I can't hear it either. I When I'm using a... When I'm playing on a um, uh, on a console and through my capture card, what is recorded is also the uh, the audio that I hear from it. Um, which for for anyone watching the recording, that's probably not yeah, you know, that's not as bad. But anyone watching this live right now, it's even worse because it's not even near in time with what you guys are hearing. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a this is a one minute PB. And it's got two deaths in it. This is really annoying. <laughs> but I don't really have... I don't have too much time to... Um, I don't have too much time to... to do the... to keep doing this run. Uh, so I'll have to... Um, I'll submit this for now. And we'll see how we'll see how we get on over the next couple of weeks. Like, so, um, next week there's no there won't be any bonus streams this weekend because I'll be uh, doing Pixel Perfect stuff. We'll see. Check those out. Um, next week on Tuesday I want to do some Twin Snakes dog tags practice because um, it's very likely Swarvson, uh, Swarv Beardson and I are going to do um, a dog tags race for Pixel Perfect next weekend. Um, so I want to do that Thursday. There is no stream because I'm out. Um, but so I might try and do I might try and do a Friday stream to make up for it. Um, but we'll see we'll see what happens. Um, either Wednesday or Friday. Friday is probably going to be better for it. Um, and then the next weekend I should be doing a couple of smaller Pixel Perfect streams again. Um, and then the week after that. Tuesday and Thursday are normal streams. Um, I will we'll see what I want to do at the time. I might jump back onto MGS2 and MGS3, ready for the Master Collection coming out. Uh, but then th that Thursday stream, the, the Friday, the day after, is the due date of my son. Um, and if he decides to come early, then that Thursday stream ain't happening. <laughs> Even earlier, that Tuesday stream made happening. <laughs> uh, so yeah, once we, you know, we've got next next week, as I say, no stream on Thursday, I'll try and do another stream. But then the following week after that, we're kind of in this kind of, it could happen at any point kind of moment. Uh, so we'll, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Um, obviously, I will be, I'll be putting updates out on, on Twitter, on Discord. Um, so if you do wanna, if you're watching the vods, there'll be links, links down below. Um, if you're watching live, I've just posted in the chat a uh, link to the uh, the URL for my link tree. So from there, you can find the Discord server. You can find my Twitter, my blue. I can't remember if I put Blue Sky on there. Yeah, um, but I am on Blue Sky now as well. Um, yeah, you can find YouTube, Discord, Twitter, Twitch. Obviously, you're already on Twitch, so you don't need that, but it's there. Um, I'm not too nervous. I still, I, I don't think it's hit. It still hasn't quite hit me. You know, we've, we've been, you know, we've had all the scans. We had a scan uh, yesterday. Absolutely fine. He's, um, he's a little on the, he's a little on the larger side. Um, uh, he's still not, still within normal parameters for what you'd expect for a baby, but he's on the, he's on the upper end of that. Um, you know, and we, you know, we saw, when we saw the scan, we saw him again and his head and, you know, all of his, you know, a lot of his organs and stuff that she was trying to, the, 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 uh, the opto optographist, I think is the name, um, was trying to find. And yeah, it's, I think when I, when we had the very first scan and we first saw him, that's the first point where it kind of became real, where it was kind of like, oh, there's actually a baby in there. Look, you can see its head and its feet, and it actually looks like a baby. Oh my god, this is happening! 
because now we're at the point where we've had like four scans already, we're now kind of at the point where we're just we're just sort of settled. You know, Heidi's pregnant. That's just how it's been for nine months. And we've just kind of dealt with that. It's not felt it, it we've kind of gotten relaxed into that. Um yeah, we've we've moved stuff around, we've got loads of new stuff, you know, we've got the pram, we've got the cot, we've got the bath, we've got, you know, the the the, the wet wipes. Um boy howdy, there are so many wet wipes. Oh my god, I filled an entire drawer just of wet wipes. Um Oh, unlucky Quins. Never mind. Give us a give us a follow and you can uh, find out when I'm streaming next. <laughs> Boom. That's how you do it, folks. That's how you reel them in. <laughs> oh, that was that was jammy. Uh next stream, uh next stream should be on tu next Tuesday. Uh however, uh I am going to be running uh any percent very easy for Pixel Perfect on Sunday. I don't have a I don't have a schedule one. I should do a schedule one, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, um, myself, uh, Theory UK and, oh, I need to, uh, skip, get this, this Sunday, yes, myself, Theory UK and Twilight Realm are doing a relay of the Metal Gear Solid trilogy. I, I haven't done a pixel one yet, I need to do that as well. Um, yeah, we're doing a trilogy run this Sunday. So I'm running MGS1, Theory's running MGS2, and <laughs> Twilight's running MGS3. Uh, oh, we can bring the, uh, we can bring the audio back up now. For, for anyone watching the VOD. Yes, sir. Aww. I recovered all of Rex's dummy warhead data. No, sir. My That's the one. Attacked. Make sure you follow that channel. Really am. Yes, the DARPA chief knew my identity, but he's been disposed of. Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Mr. President. I'll split I'll split the Mr. President again, but it's very it's very likely now again that it'll probably be back. It should be it should be around the same time as 56. So it's, this is probably a 12640. So. Uh Quinn's 93, thank you very much for the follow right at the end there. 12647. Uh so yes indeed it is um that is a one, uh, one minute, one minute and ten seconds. I already forgot. Already forgot what my old PB was. Um, yeah, it's a new PB, but with two deaths. I hate. I hate when this happens. I make a major improvement in one location, and something else completely in a different part of the stream is uh, in a different part of the run is completely awful. <laughs> so bad. Um, yeah, that's uh, one twenty six forty seven. Nice to nice to get under another minute barrier. I think I've got a bit of work to do. I'm this now definitely cements me a fifth fifth place on the leaderboard. I've got another minute, one more minute shaved, and I overtake plywood um, uh, and and take fourth place. So I'd like I'd like to do that at some point. Um, but we'll see. We'll see, depending on on timing and stuff. Obviously, as I got P Pixel Perfect on Sunday, uh, I may have Pixel Perfect the following weekend with um, with this dog tags race as well. Um, this uh, the the master collection is the reason why I've been getting back into this. My intention once the master collection comes out, um, assuming I can find the time around the baby, uh, is to to run the master collection trilogy. I am, uh, by the way, I'm currently the world record holder for the Metal Gear Solid trilogy. I don't think that's changed. I'm going to double check. I'm actually going to double check that in case that has changed. I don't think it has. No, that hasn't changed. I am I am still I am the um I'm I am still the world record holder for the Metal Gear Solid Metal Gear Solid trilogy, the Metal Gear Solid All Frog Tags trilogy and the Shadow Moses trilogy. Um so yeah, I'd like to be the first person to do the Master Collection trilogy, and maybe even the Master Collection Quintology, because I do run the other two games that are in it as well, Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. So I should get some practice on those as well at some point. Anyway, that's going to be it for, for, for this run, certainly. Obviously the run's over. Um, for anyone watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Um, as you can see by the, um, by the goal down at the bottom, I am trying to get to 1,000 uh, subscribers so that uh, originally it was so that I could join the YouTube partner program, but YouTube have finally brought the requirements down. So I've now been invited to the YouTube partner program, but 
a lot of the ad revenue stuff is still still locked off until you get a thousand subscribers. Um, oh, I've lost chat. I've lost chat. Have we gone? Have we uh, disconnected all of a sudden? Oh, no, and it's back. Never mind. Anyway, if, as I say, if you're watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Please check out some of my other videos. Consider subscribing uh, if you like what you see for more. And uh, I will see you in a future video. Bye bye.